Hey guys, uh, thanks for clicking on my video and stopping by my channel. Um, last couple days I've been working on a 7 foot 6 Snowway plow install on a 2015 um, Ford F-150 King Ranch 3.5 EcoBoost Super Crew with the short wheelbase. Um, there's very, very little online um, on any sort of uh, YouTube or forum about the install, the actual procedure. I don't think anyone's installing them themselves, that's why. And I'm the, I'm the guy that, of course, wanted to do it myself. Um, if you're ever doing this Snowway install on a 3.5 EcoBoost, this is a 2015, you have to get that intercooler support bracket. Um, that Snowway has as an option. No one in my area has that bracket, so I wanted to see what kind of work was involved in in modifying the factory bracket on the bottom of the intercooler. So here's my here's my uh, push plate. They call it a weldment um, on the bottom. Here's my cross member right in the middle, of course. So. I had to obviously you got to take the take the grill off the truck. You have to take the front bumper off the truck. Um, I have an aftermarket CV fabrication intercooler from um, shout out to um, oh man, I'll get back to that. Um, anyways, so intercooler off my uh, radar. For my um, cruise control is removed um, so the weldments on the left and right side of the truck the bottom radiator uh, intercooler support has to be notched and and uh, trimmed as you can see to go around the the uh, push plate snowway calls it a weldment but it's you know it's the push plate so I had to take my intercooler out completely take my lower intercooler support out this aluminum thick aluminum support disconnect obviously disconnect it from the uh the intercooler hoses going to the engine um you can see all the way across i had to notch out the left and both left and right side and i also had to drill a new hole uh, because there is no hole in the push plates for the position that the intercooler nut needs to be. Um, you can see there's, there's, uh, this is the, one of the factory spots for the, um, tow hook. There's the other tow hook bolt. There's one of the, uh, the bolts that comes with the push plates. There's a hole right here underneath that you can't see um, for an optional, maybe a different vehicle. And then I had to drill another hole next to this hole that's hidden right here um, so that I could mount the, uh, the lower intercooler OEM um, mount. And that's all because I couldn't get my, the Snowway uh, version of the intercooler support kit um, around my area and the guys that install the plows in my area said that they don't use them they just modify the lower intercooler support that's not how I wanted to do this job uh, trust me I'm sure it was much much longer than it had to be um, this is my first snowway um, install but uh, as you can see I have the usual, I can't remember what you call the, uh, the bolts when they're welded on to the, uh, the hand, handle bolt, something, something funny. Anyways, that's inside my frame rail. That's a pretty cool shot right there. I primed, after I cut the, um, the handles on the bolts, I, I primed them so they wouldn't rust. I kind of shot some primer in here just for good measure on the bolts so they wouldn't rust. Um, you're supposed to you also use uh, Loctite on the bolts, so don't forget about the Loctite. 
Um, but in the end, it came out it came out pretty good. I haven't notched my front bumper yet, which I will in a few. But um, the bottom of your cross member has to be eight to ten inches from the ground. So I did this whole install with the truck on the ground, not on the lift. Um, so that I could get the right measurements. Um, I kept taking the measurements over and over again. Um, so the measurement is from the middle of this um, semicircle here to the ground. And I came right in under, um, right under 10 inches, about nine and a half inches. And it needs to be between, the range is eight to 10. So I haven't done the wiring yet, but my Series 26 came with a wireless controller. So I don't have to run any cables into the uh, cab for this install, luckily. And I'm waiting on the LED adapter harness from Snowway. Um, so my LEDs will seamlessly, my LED headlights will seamlessly work with the plow electronics, with the plow headlights. Um, but anyways, this is, uh, this is what it looks like. With the uh, everything still removed. Um, like I said, I couldn't find any info or um, or help online um, during this install, and there's there's no um, paper documentation from Snowway. They want an authorized dealer to do the install, um, of course. But uh, I didn't buy a new Snowway plow. I bought mine uh, gently used uh, about a year ago from New Hampshire. And so I'm, uh, I'm very happy that this process is done. Um, when I was reinstalling the intercooler and the lower intercooler mount, I had to, I had one push plate, one weldment installed this driver's side weldment and I had the radiator uh, the intercooler support at an angle on the ground right I had it on the ground and then I put the intercooler on top of it with the rubber grommets and at the same time I had to put the intercooler support inside the hole in the weldment see that hole right there in that channel and then lift it all up at the same time. So I was lifting the, the passenger side push plate and weldment and the lower intercooler support with the massive intercooler on it, of course. Oh, and uh, the shout out was for Brew City Boost. That's where I got the, uh, the sweet CV uh, fabrication intercooler from. Um, I'm running their tune, of course. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, I will not soon forget this install. Um, I'm on my way to, uh, I'm about to notch my front bumper, the lower front bumper, where the tow hooks used to come out. And you have to leave the, uh, you can see it right there, the lower plastic valence, you actually, they recommend to leave it off the truck. Uh, there's pretty much no clearance for it to be reinstalled. Um, is at, that's what they say, anyways. I'm gonna dry fit it later on to see if it's true. But uh, that's uh, and then obviously run my uh, my power wires and wait for my LED headlight adapter. So, anyways, um, I hope this helps someone out there trying to get through this install themselves and um yeah i hope it's worth it <laughs> all right thanks a lot for watching the video guys have a good one